Hi guys, it's me again, Dane. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are now down to the third part of the series, College Queries. And I am so excited to answer this part because I can talk my insides. Joke. If you haven't watched the first and second part of this series, you can click this icon above so that you can watch those videos before watching this video. In there, I talk about the various information regarding universities here in Cebu and then the second part is about the scholarships that you may want to apply for your college life. And in here, in this video that you are watching right now, we will talk about my personal experiences in nursing school and college in general. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I highly encourage you guys to watch those first two parts before watching this because those are important things that you may want to apply with your college life. Again, before I'm going to start, I want to say a little disclaimer that everything I'm going to talk about in this video would be about my personal experiences and should not be your only source of information. I encourage you guys to experience yourself to have your own research to know more about things because that would be the greatest teacher in life. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's get this started. Okay, because um nag create ko og mga possible answers for the question since dili ko ganahan nga mabot ko bisan asa talking about my personal experiences. So, if you are Curious nga sige kung tanaw sa boss because my answer is nasa kong laptop. To start guys, we are going to talk about first my personal experiences with nursing school. So, the first question that I've got here is unsa ang mga things na needed? See? See? This is why I... Oh my god, what's this? Ooh, wait. It's for school. Wait lang. Alright, um, to start Finally, legit this time. First question that I've got is unsang mga things na need na ko prepare and I learn before pa ko masod sa nursing. First of all, masod jud kag nursing. <laughs> the joke lang. I'm not discouraging anyone here. Kay if it if it's your choice then please please be with nursing school. Okay? Follow your heart. Anyway, things to prepare. Well, Personally, I haven't prepared that much. Like I swear, I'm that overwhelmed before kanang graduating ko sa senior high school and more very fast magulang happenings before guys because two weeks two weeks after a graduation diha na mag start ang classes and dili siya para na ako personally dili siya enough nga time to be prepared for college because college is a different chapter of your life and you just close. The chapter in high school, and j in just two weeks, you are starting another one, deba. So it's really overwhelming. But for me, though, one thing that you really need to have and prepare if ganahan ka mo go for nursing is you must be a reader because bestie, the kan jud ka ayu kag basahunon all the time sa nursing, like. Okay, makabak makabasa ka, makafinish ka ug like few chapters. Dilit na diham human. Another chapter would be added. And especially sa needed jud ang advanced reading when it comes to medical medical related courses kay wala lang needed lang gyud siya, promise. So yes, you need to teach yourself to be used to reading a lot of times kay mao jud na needed jud na siya sa nursing. And then when it comes to requirements, well, you will need the stationaries, highlighters, notebooks, bond papers, sticky notes, and the like. Because not raka magread kung di magmake sa gag notes a lot. Next, you also need to know how to manage your time well. Yes, again, dili raka magread, dili raka magmake notes kung di na puke other stuffs to attend to, especially outside nursing. You have your life, you have your family, you have your friends, so you have to manage your time well in order to meet those things. Right and left ang mga task nga buhaton, so you need to do things in a timely manner. You have to remember, guys, that if you want to do something, you have to do it at your own pace as long as. 
Na dinig ka mula pa sa deadline because if mula pa ka sa deadline, you know what will happen. Right. Lastly, you need to know that you got this. Right. Of course, believing in yourself is something that is really needed for nursing school. Please don't forget that you'll get through it. In short, padayon lang jod. There are a lot of times na ma-question jud imong decision sa life nga no nisulod kag nursing. But please remember why you started in the first place and always believe in yourself. Okay? I just want to say though na this doesn't end here. There are still lots of things to prepare, but I'm pretty sure you will eventually figure it out along the way. Next, daghan ang palito na gamit sa nursing. <laughs> well, as of now, we have skills laboratory na things where you will need to buy equipments and tools to demonstrate procedures. So yes, daghan ang needed ibay for nursing. But magdepend na kung unsa sad nga mga brands ang imong ibay. But basically, similar ra sa kuan basta na alang to nga mga equipments and tools nga needed for your demonstration. Next, I uh, okay rang online classes sa nursing. If I have the choice, if I were to choose online or F2F classes, then I would go with F2F. But since we don't have much of a choice right now, I would say Kaira. Kaira siya guys. Um, very challenging lang because kapoy mas mas kapoy ang online classes unlike sa F2F because sa F2F mong god balag layo ang mong school and kapoy po siya. But you have your classmates, you have an interaction. And it's really different. And I know I'm not just speaking for myself here. Yeah. But as of now, okay lah. <laughs> anyway, what were the things you needed when you were in first year? Well, I'm still in my first year right now. And the things I needed are the following. Books, equipment, tools for nursing kit, and strong guardian angel. <laughs> Next. What was the hardest subject? Oh no! <laughs> Can I say a lot of subjects here? Anyway, for Vita, it really depends from person to person. Because, na ay sayon par na ko, lesson par ninyo, or sayon par ninyo, lesson par na ko. But as for me, personally, well, I would say biochemistry and anapi. Because biochemistry, dery magmeet ang science and math. Anatomy and physiology, on the other hand, there are a lot of things to take in. So basically, mo na kung top two for the first sem. Karong sa kan sem, morag madan ang hatanan. I mean, mas taghan naman mo ang mga major subjects right now, so. Yeah, it's quite challenging than the first semester. So yeah, I think all of the major subjects are hard right now. But you, you just need to manage it well. <laughs> all right, what do you do during internship? I am I am still about to find out, you know, because I'm still in my first year. But based on my background. Here na mag duty sa hospital and perform skills in real life sa field. That means you really have to interact with patients in real time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Magkano po gastos niyo tagalog? Okay. Um, because I am in a state university, particularly si Normal. First na gasto na ko is ang books because. If we choose to buy our own book, then we can, because the school won't provide it. Then the second is um, mga equipments and tools needed for the demonstrations and practices, the skills lab. Then third, um, other payments na needed to pay other than the tuition. In short, much lesser from those who are in other schools because again, if state university, the tuition fee is covered by the government. So I'm a lucky cat. Thank you, CNU. Right. I think that's basically it. 
I think there are lots of things I can still stay in here but I would leave it up to you guys to experience it on your own and sa ako mga ipaingon right now maorom siguro ito dito rin nag revolve around ang mga need na mahibawaan ninyo because other than that it's gonna be your own experience your own um knowledge and the way Mumu learns the things in nursing school. With that said, good luck guys. And if you have other joys, don't <laughs> the joke lang. Nursing school is pretty challenging and it's not for the faint heart. But it, if you really wanted this then you really can have it. So yeah, padayan lang ka always. Because honestly, well like course na easy it take it's always gonna be difficult, at least at first and it really boils down on how you do it you know so yeah it's different from person to person and with that said i pray for you and good luck nursing <laughs>We are down with the other questions about college with my personal experience. Mm -hmm. First question, I like this. Musta ang college life? Uh huh. Musta ang college life? Ko an mito um surviving I guess. Yeah. Um more like in anak surviving. <laughs> I don't know tell because small ones are not real. You know, it's just like surviving. Hung, hung, hunger games lang. Ganon. Yeah. How to make friends in college? Ooh, this is pretty hard to answer. I don't know, but yeah. Honestly, the way we make friends in school is different for each individual. I guess you can make friends through groups or by pair tasks. Or if you have the willingness to make the first move, then that would be great because it would be the start of something new, you know. In my case, however, what I did was um, we made a study group, which of course was instructed by um, our mayor, Sad. And there, we made friends. Well, you know, it started. I was the first move, guys. Well, I was pride. <laughs> um, yeah, I created Project RN, which is shout out to you guys. I can't survive college without you. Pero yes, um, Project RN is a study group where we are at first composed of few members, but right now, I don't know, we're a lot. But we can we decided na Gina na yung members <laughs> we're a lot na and it's enough pero yeah I'm, I'm i'm lucky enough to have a very jamming block and botch so very easy to sila magkasuod jud like as in i'm really lucky so yeah for botch 2025 out there thank you guys because kamo akong nakabatch how to survive college prayers prayers ra jud na Prayers are lagi and stronger than angel. The joke, right? Bita. I think to survive college is to do one thing at a time. There are instances, mong God, where we get overwhelmed with everything going on and sunod sunod ang breakdowns. Well, it's pretty normal actually, pero for me, balance lang jod ang needs everything when it comes to college life. Do your best with ACADs, but do not live your life at the same time. So yeah, balance, prayer, strong guardian angel, and yeah, survive lang yun. Make sure lang yun ka survive ka, ma-original. Next, how to be productive. You're asking me? <laughs> anyway, to be productive is to manage your time well. Of course, I know I'm not only speaking for myself when I say this. We procrastinate all the time. Trust me. You can ask my best friend about this. I procrastinate. But the thing is, she procrastinate more than me. Anyway, yes, my dear, whether we like it or not, time management and self-discipline is the key. So, sa perma productive ka, you have to know um, what to do at this time you have to manage your time you have to 
can um, balance your life. More na guys, you, you have you just have to beat the deadlines. More na, okay? More na ang productivity because other people magod. I know a lot of people nga mo work sila if like doon na deadline. Like they are those cramming people out there nga grabe jo. They they just function at that time lang. So salute jud ko ninyo guys kay di na ko kay magcram guys akong utok mo go. Because different from case to case, um, pagka productive sa tao. It's just that, just go with your own pace, okay? Okay. okay. Do they fail students? Uh, are we talking about kung it drop out ka or pa shift ka? Then, well, whatever it is, then yes, any school will drop the students. But the real question is, who are they going to drop? Of course, when it comes to grade, you must maintain it at least above their cut-off grades. So, sa amu ah, that would be trust. If you may, simba ko palayo, exceeded than the cut-off grade, then here na musulod, imong pagka good student. If you are known to be a slack off student, di mo pass requirements on time, di mo pass sa mga projects and the like, then they would absolutely not hesitate to fail you. But if you're a good student, then there's a possibility of having another chance to let you bow away. This is the this is the the process called deliberation, where they will um, check your records if like good rebaka or not because it's not all about the grades it's also about your morals the way you are responsible of yourself so yeah next how to pass the exam ah we're talking about the entrance exam here i remember how to pass exam well if we are talking about my school which is in nursing then you must study general sciences it really depends on what course you are going to apply for so you must focus on preparing for the subjects related to it kay most probably mauna amo gawas sa exams so for example you are into civil engineering so basically it's about math and physics you know and then with med school or med related fields the i it's gonna be about sciences um, a little bit of math as well so yeah general general subjects and guys you have to prepare for that so what does a college need strong guardian angel money need na to the joke the joke joke guys joke good money picked us college pero Kidding aside though, college needs perseverance, dedication, and courage. Here, my challenge you come ayo. You will be pushed out of your comfort zone and so you must be strong enough to get through. You also need to choose the right people to be miserable with because I swear college is miserable. But with the right person and the right people gonna be less miserable so yeah more to siya ang mga needed i guess that's what i have right now so i'm lucky enough na nag-survive nag yapon ko sa college karon because i have first i have the right people to be miserable with second i have a stronger than angel <laughs> and also um i balance everything in my best ability so yeah <laughs> Next, do professors give you books at yun ang gagamitin nyo as study material like sa elementary o, or SHS? Well, sa among school in CNU Nursing, um, professor would suggest books or give them soft copy. And it's up to you if you want to buy a hard copy or stay with a soft copy provided by your teacher or you can also have other sources other than what is given to you because a college mga good guys you really cannot rely just one source because no other sources gonna give other information especially sa nursing you cannot just stick with one book because different books different informations though mo alter just slightly lang but yeah na ajud like na ajud difference that's basically it with other questions relating to college and yeah that's that's my life guys 
let's 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 go to the next part. Okay, so this part is about the tips and suggestions I will be giving to you about college. So the first thing that they ask for me is tips on having good grades. You're really asking me about this, huh? Well, honestly, to be honest lang dude, guys, I really don't know what to tell you when it comes to having good grades because we function differently as a person or as a student. So things that may apply for me may not apply for you and things that may apply for you may not apply for me. However, you are asking me this, so I will give you the points that really help me to have good grades or at least trying to have good grades well the three points that I'm talking about where I think all of us will revolve around if you want to have good grades would be first time management it is so important you guys now you know how to manage your time because the college mangod we have a lot of things to do and sometimes overwhelming paganit na siya and if ma overwhelm ka, di ba na may breakdowns. And ang breakdowns sa college, guys, nasa na schedule. So, yeah, you have to manage your time well. Okay, next is self-discipline. You may have time management, but without self-discipline, wala sa Japan kay padulungan. Because, of course, bahalag na po ay time management table, diha, nakit planner and everything like that. Wala ka self-discipline and will not stick with your schedule, then wala ergapon. It's useless. But you also have to remember to not be so hard on yourself because you can definitely do it at your own pace. Just beat the deadline lang dyan, guys. Mara dyan ako isulti sa self. Okay ra if like hours before na ako do ang task as long as I can beat the deadline. Mara dyan na beat the deadline. <laughs> That is why self-discipline and time management go hand in hand when it comes to beating the deadlines and being productive and getting the good grades that we want. So the third one would be about perseverance. In here, you must remember to always give your best shot on everything that you do. Believe in yourself that you can do this and makaya ni mo like padaya ng jun. Unsa nang saying nga kanang fall down seven times stand up eight times i don't know if that's right but mao na ko manung tuman nga basta ang thought lang <laughs> basta ang thought lang if you guys fail do not forget to stand up and move forward well at the end of the day though imong own diskarte ang needed here and if wala pa ka kabaloon sa on believe me that you will learn along the way. Depend on your own ways, guys. So if this is your own way, like similar to that, then that's good. But if we're not, then it's alright as well. You can definitely do it in your own way, Lancho. Alright. Next, tips on surviving college. As I said earlier, give your best on your academics. However, we must also remember that we have a life outside the books that we are reading, the exams you are acing, and it's really important to cater to them as well. Do your best academically, but give yourself a breather pod sometimes. Laag, tagay, date, whatever, basta you are accountable to balance your life out. Just remember that everything that you are doing, you are responsible of it. Okay? Tips on becoming a good student. Am I a good student? I don't know. Anyway, this is basically similar ganina, but for me, becoming a good student is not solely about grades. As a matter of fact, it's about helping each other during difficult times. It's about helping each other to go up instead of pulling each other down. Well, individually, of course, you must abide by the rules and regulation of your institution. You know, mga basics for good, like pass your requirements on time, inform them if you need to excuse yourself, be present, and the like. It all boils down to how you handle yourself as a student in your institution, like your values and principles sa inyong school. I don't know how you define a good student, but for me, those are the things that you need to do to, to be at least a good student. Oh. 
Okay, so I guess that's basically it with the personal experiences in nursing school and other tips and college questions that I can answer personally based on my experiences as well. Since this is the last video of the college series, I want to thank you for watching the three videos of this series and I hope guys that we have um, helped you in our own little way because this is this is the goal of this video i was once an overwhelmed student confused student before with the thought of college so i hope with this series we help you i along with my friends we help you to have a little information and glimpse with the college life with how we are doing it right now how we started it from applying to various institutions, scholarships, and to actually um, enroll and study in a different institution here in Cebu. So yeah, I would really appreciate it if you will comment down below if we have helped you in a little way possible. And if you have any other questions, I would try my best to answer your queries um, in the comment section below if you like this video and this college series don't forget to press the like button so if you want to hang out more with moi then um, you can subscribe to my channel and you will see more of my face on the future videos that I will be posting so yeah again thank you so much guys for watching the whole videos three parts of this series and again i hope that you will get that institution that you are aiming for the scholarship and i hope that just like us right now you will survive college do not worry if you will just keep on going you will get there one day so yeah padayan guys i love you and i'm pink